Today, we are learning just one design, but during the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass, I spend 10 weeks with you online designing floral staircases, floral chandeliers, ground structures, ceilings, wall installations, suspended floral designs, and sharing everything from the simple techniques to the meticulous designs behind my most in-demand designs and large-scale installations. Today, we are making this one right here. The first thing I do when I am beginning a new design is I select my lead flower. In this case, I am working with Polar Bear Baby's Breath. Let me introduce you to Polar Bear. Polar Bear is this new variety of Baby's Breath, also known as Gypsophilia, that is absolutely amazing. So what I love about this is look at this stem. Look at how many big, beautiful blooms there is on one stem. It has bigger blooms than the average, brighter white than the average, and well, it just gives really great full coverage. This is going to be the new It Baby's Breath on the market. Monofloral designs, or designs created using just one flower, produce a powerful impact. There is beauty and romance in simplicity. I was first drawn to this design style when I realized that processing hundreds of one variety of flower was much faster and more efficient than processing multiple varieties. If you are struggling to figure out which flowers to use or how many flowers to order, I cover everything you need to know about recipe planning and the creation in the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass, where I give you my exact recipes and shopping list for all 10 weeks of design tutorials. Aside from packing a powerful punch, another reason that I gravitate towards monofloral designs is their efficiency, much like the place you might be right now. When I started my floral business, I had no idea how to find freelancers. All the help that I was getting was from friends and family. I needed the techniques to be simple. If finding extra hands is something that you also need help with, join us over in the Intrigue Teaches wedding community. This Facebook page has over 10,000 members, over 10,000 floral designers who come together every day to share tips, design ideas, and encouragement for one another. Large-scale design doesn't need to be complicated. It just needs to be impactful. Once my flower is selected, I begin to build out the base of my design. Let's get right into it. First thing I've done is I've gone ahead and attached my hang points. In order to do that, I look at the structure I come into. So at every venue, it's gonna have a little different environment. I'm always looking to see what I can hang to. And in this case, we had these great beams in here. I took my zip ties, I went over the beam, and I made a loop so I can attach my fishing line to the loop. On the other side, I didn't have as much luck, and I actually used one of my clamps. And attached to the clamp, I've got my zip ties again. These zip ties, they're good for everything. This design right here is going to start with a chicken wire base. This wire netting, you can get wire netting from your wholesaler, you can get it from the hardware store. Uh, this one here is a nice big long roll, and what I've done is I've cut my, my wire into strips. Now when you cut it into strips, it makes it a little bit more manageable. Now cutting chicken wire can be a little tricky. I use sheet metal cutters, these right here are fantastic. I get them at the hardware store, and you would think I was building a house when I walk into these places with some of the tools that I buy. The other thing I like to do when I'm preparing my chicken wire is I always like to have gloves. I feel like I have strong hands from being a florist, but this stuff is no joke. It can cut right through your hands, so always wear gloves, and always make sure you've got a great pair of clippers with you. These sheet metal clippers, they are the best you could have. Once I have my strips of chicken wire cut, I want them cut to about 20 to 24 inches wide. So if I'm gonna buy a roll of netting from my floral wholesaler, I can buy the 18 to 20 inch netting and I don't have to worry about cutting it. But in this case, I cut the strips in half to this size here. And then what I did is I folded the strips in together. I generally like to fold the cut side in first just to keep it away from my hands. Uh, and again, you should be wearing gloves. I'm not at the moment, but you should wear gloves. And I create what I call a snake, a messy snake. I fold this wire together in on itself, and then I just kind of twist. I want to create these layers so that when I'm ready to attach my beautiful baby's breath, I can do it by weaving the stems into my snake with these layers 
of chicken wire in there. But that's our start. Now let's get this baby hung and then we can add the flowers, which you know is the best part. Once I get into place, I've got my zip tie already attached to give me security. Then I'm going to attach my chicken wire snake about a foot and a half through the chicken wire. So I want about a foot and a half on the other side because I still want to have a big mass of my baby's breath on the other side where this is going to be my main security. I'm going to feed this additional zip tie all the way through, loop it through my security zip tie. I'm going to keep both of them a little bit loose right now so that once I get my flowers in, I can adjust up if I need to. Once you lock a zip tie in, you can never go down. You can never make it less loose. You can always make it tighter. So I want to make sure I'm giving myself that leeway. And then we have a nice place for this design to get started. But we're not done. We've got to add more layers because I like layers and layers of flowers. I'm using a standard fishing line. This is like you would get at any fishing store. It's a 20 pound test. You can get higher tests, but this is all I need for this design. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie a knot around this zip tie anchor that I have up here attached to my clamp. Now there is a rule that every designer should know. And I learned this from my Coast Guard husband. It is, if you can't tie a knot, you tie a lot. So I am not a professional knot tier. I couldn't tell you what knots I tie but I have learned that if you tie about five to six knots, it doesn't come undone. So if you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Now I'm gonna come get this 10 foot snake that we started to put up and I'm going to attach it. I like how I've got a nice curve. So I'm just gonna take my fishing line and I'm gonna feed it through my chicken wire. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it off again. Now the reason I use fishing line as opposed to wire to attach these is because fishing line has give. And I wanna make sure I'm working with something that has give when we're adding flowers and when people are going to be around these designs because if it doesn't have any give, it could snap. So now we're gonna take a second piece. You could design this all in one, but I find for transportation, it's better to do them in multiple pieces. So this is another 10 foot piece that I've made into a snake. And what I've done here is I've seen this area in the door, this anchored part of the door, and I'm gonna attach my chicken wire directly to this. And I'm just sliding it down. Now what this is gonna do is two things. It's gonna give me that stability. It's also going to help disguise this, the black door frame here, which really jumps out in my white winterland design. Then I'm gonna take the other piece of chicken wire snake and I'm gonna just zip tie these two together so they've got that added security and they stay in one piece. And I wanna make sure I get some good security here, nice and firm. Now again, I didn't tighten it all the way because I want to make sure I give myself some leeway. I'm going to give myself another zip tie attaching just to the edge of my wire. All right, so there we have our main shape. We've got some really good motion here. This is going to be our primary design. And we're going to start loading this baby up with our big, beautiful baby's breath, also known as gypsophilia. And today we are working with polar bear. Hold that thought. Let's have a quick, real conversation. Clients are looking for designers who can achieve looks like this. The average designer shows average work on their website. Many of these sites have not been updated for years. Meanwhile, the client's dreams and budgets have changed dramatically in just the last two to three years. Big, beautiful floral installations have become the most requested floral designs. And even if your clients aren't asking for them yet, they want them. In the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass, I share 10 weeks of detailed installation designs, as well as the marketing techniques and sales strategies needed to fill your calendar with these over-the-top designs in a way that feels natural and makes sense. All right, let's keep going. All right, well, now that I've got my flowers selected, it's time to get out of these warm clothes and get to designing because I've got to make a big, beautiful design with these polar bear blooms. Come on, I'll show you how. You're gonna take your bundle, put all the stems together, and then you're gonna weave it through. 
I like to pick one direction for my design. So I am going to have this design starting up here at the top and just flowing down, which means if I'm gonna put a piece in here, I'm gonna put it upside down. Take my bundle and my chicken wire, and I'm just gonna weave this in, and I'm gonna weave it out through these cells of wire, through the layers of wire, so that it holds in nice and tight. And then I'm gonna continue to do this over and over again, layer after layer, in order to get that big fluffy momentum that I'm looking for. Now, flowers are more fun with friends, so I'm gonna call in a couple of helpers to help me get this whole job done. Come on, guys. If you are watching new designers come in and pick up business right away, it is most likely because they are jumping into these big designs without hesitation. I know because I have taught hundreds of students over the past years who have built blooming businesses in a matter of months. Even before I created the easy to follow collection of tutorials and recipes in the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass, I was traveling the country teaching these designs in person and seeing designers reach incredible results. All it takes is a bit of training and a dash of confidence to produce something truly spectacular. Once you get lots of layers into your wire form, I like to go in and fill in some of those spots. Some of those spots are showing too much green or maybe I have holes and I will take a single stem of this beautiful polar bear baby's breath and I'm just gonna poke that in. I don't even weave this one. I find that place where I feel like I need a little more color and I just open up the space and I weave it straight in. That's gonna give it a little bit of flow and it's gonna give a really, really nice burst of motion in your design. That was some spectacular teamwork. We started with this beautiful line and we added our layers of baby's breath to give us this gorgeous, rounded, fluffy crest. And this polar bear baby's breath is giving me all that wintry fluffiness that I was hoping for. Now we're gonna add a second layer. This layer is going to be our ground piece. And we've done a very simple snake, shorter of course, but this is the same process where you have about 18 to 24 inches of wire turned into your snake, and then we're gonna lay it flat. We're gonna add our layers, this gorgeous polar bear baby's breath to create these beautiful pockets that are gonna act like snow on the ground. It's gonna be cool. All right, let's finish this piece up. What better way to add height than this Floricraft foam with Poly Renew? This is gonna give us this pizzazz that we're gonna need for these low-lying ground installations. I love to share success stories of the student designers that have used my techniques to propel themselves into designing weddings well over $100,000. However, as incredible as that is, those success stories are just the highlights. The average wedding designer that completes the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass pays off the course after they sell just one of the designs taught in this course and sees the average wedding floral budgets increase by five to $10,000 within the first year. Designs like this are in your future and I wanna see what you create. I wanna challenge you today. I'm gonna to challenge you to reach out to your wholesaler and place your order for Polar Bear Baby's Breath. Don't think about it, just start playing and creating. These large scale designs have the power to put you on the map as a high end wedding florist. It is your time to shine and to capture the attention of the clients 
who are searching for designers that can bring their large scale floral dreams to life. When you start adding jaw dropping installations like these to your repertoire, you attract the clientele who want an out of the box designer and who has the budget to do these large scale designs. I've seen many of my students start to double and triple their wedding revenue because of the offerings of big installations like the ones that I teach in the Big Dreams Virtual Installation Masterclass. The registration is $2,997 and pays for itself by selling just one of the 10 plus large scale designs that I teach in this course. If you are ready to learn more, follow the link to sign up for the Big Dreams Floral Installation Masterclass and start learning today, right now.